Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. Uh, today's video is going to be a collab with my girl, Laura. She is, um, I, I always want to say moment. There's moments with Chip here on YouTube. If you haven't checked her out, check her out. But um, Mom on the Edge, I think it's just because there's so many M's. Um, so Mom on the Edge, check her out. Um, she actually lives in Colorado, just like me, and she was at Walmart yesterday, and she um, video messaged me and was just like, Wet n Wild came out with some new products, um, and she showed me the, the display. I had to go to Walmart anyway to return something, so I decided to check it out. I did a full video on, like, all of their brand new stuff, uh, so be sure to go check that out if you're curious. Uh, I did pick up one, two, three, four five of the products to test out today. I am going to be testing out a few other new products from Flower Beauty, but that's going to be on a separate video. So I'm going to do a full wear test on like the Flower Beauty uh, Get Real Serum Foundation. And actually, you know what? I was going to wear these today, but I'm going to instead wear them tomorrow just because um, I think I'm going to be taking a bath today and I might possibly have this other makeup on and then, you know, when you take a bath and with the heat and stuff like that, I don't want it to affect this. So, and today, right now when I'm filming this, it's already 1.30, um, in the afternoon. So I'm going to tomorrow, like right when I wake up, try to film the video right away and, um, get this on my face and then wear it a lot longer than what I plan on wearing my makeup today for. So I'll be doing that in a separate video. I don't know why I thought, I just now thought of that. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and go in and do my brows like I usually do. So this is the Wet n Wild, um, brow obsessive, I don't know, brow, yeah, obsessive, I can't say that, um, uh, brow right. shaping gel. Brow obsessive? Yeah. It sounds so weird. It's, brow obsessive. It's, obsessive. That's a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a stretch. Yeah. So we're going to just fill. I do have, so I'm breaking out a little bit. I keep breaking out like a little bit on my face. Uh, I am not quite sure why, but I don't tend to really break out much. So I'm just going to go ahead and my brows are tattooed on. If y'all didn't know. And when it comes to gels. Sometimes I really just like a gel that can fill in the little areas that I need it to. And this is the perfect color for me. So I did get the shade Blonde. Which sometimes in products I do, in blonde eyebrow products, I do worry if it's going to be a bit more of a red, like two of a reddish tint. Sometimes that is the case. But... I recently got the Glossier one, and that one worked pretty well. You guys are going to see a video on me trying out some Glossier products, because um, I did a full video on that. Merry Christmas, by the way. I didn't tell you guys that. This video is going to be up on Christmas. So that did really well. I like how that looks. I do want to clean up the brows today, but that just really made my brows a lot more um, pronounced, I guess you'd say. So I'm going to clean up the brows. I'm not sure where my concealer is. It's around here somewhere. I need to clean up my makeup desk today. But I'm going to clean up the brows and I'll be right back. Alright, so I'm going to go in with, see my brows look so much better once you clean it up. I already applied a little bit of concealer onto my lids. Now I'm going to go in with this palette. This is the one that I picked up. It's in um, Petalit, uh, Petalite. I can't, so palette, but Petalit. So a, it's called palette. This is called a palette, but then there's a P-E-T-A-L it. So Petalit. It's petite. What? It's supposed to be like petal. Like a rose oh. petal. Yeah. Okay, trying to open this. So if you have scissors. Oh, 
Yeah, you look like you were about to throw them at me. I was just looking at your whole desk and thinking, what, you don't have scissors over there? I know, blah, blah, it's blah. a mess. I'm cleaning it today. Okay. So. Okay. This is what the palette looks like. I have not swatched these yet. Well, I'm going to do some swatches right here on my hand. Ooh, I definitely think we'll go in with that shade. Pretty. I love this like mauve-ish purple. So those are, those are two shades so far. And then the middle pink. Ooh, that one's like a rose gold. And then this light, this is the one that kind of caught my eye. Oh yes, this really pretty pinky one. And then the lightest one in this palette. So those are very pigmented, super pretty. There's only one matte in this palette, which is that. But we're going to go in with that on the eyes. First, I'm going to go in with this one. Yeah, obviously the matte one. That's the one I was just talking about. And I'm going to apply that all over the crease. Is more of a transition shade. It's going to be a very easy look today just because I am using this lip, this lippy, the dark one. And to me, it doesn't really matter. I'm staying inside and it doesn't really matter if my eyeshadow look doesn't match with my uh, lips, like my lip color. But I'm going to attempt to try to make it somewhat match. So the shade's blending out really well. I did talk to Laura already this morning and she had already, she's already filmed her video and she was saying how well she liked, because she got two of the eyeshadow palettes, the bigger ones. Pretty sure she got two of the bigger ones. She might have got one smaller one and then one bigger one. I'm spacing it, mom brain. But that blended out good. She said that hers blended out amazing too. So I'm going to just build up this color right here on the outer corner and just go in with more of a uh, packing brush. This is a Morphe M574 brush. And it is very deep. This does have some shimmer into it. Sometimes, yeah, see once I put it on, the shimmer does tend to just go away, so it's looking a bit more matte. I have a feeling it would do that, and I'm, I'm okay with that. If I did want to get more, I'm going to go in with this brush. If I did want to get more of the shimmer to it, I would apply it wet. But like I said, this look is not going to be anything fancy today. They have very pretty colors to choose from. I just didn't want to get a palette that I already have a lot of the colors. I wanted to get like the more orangey gold one, but golds just don't look the best on my eyes. Come to realize. I'm just going to keep packing that on and then blending it. And I'll do the other eye off camera, but that's blending. You see how pretty that's blending? It's blending really well. And then I want to add, um, I'm trying to think, what color should I add? Probably this one, or maybe this one. Nah, we'll do this one on the lid. Ah, see guys, I'm having, I don't know, which one should I do? We'll do this one. I'm going to do that middle shade. I'm going to do it with my finger just to get some of the shimmer. Ooh, pretty. Okay, this is turning out a little different than I expected, but I am okay with it. 
I like it. Just like a very basic look, super pretty. I'm gonna go in a little bit more with that deep shade and just pat it on the outer corner. I'm not gonna blend it out this time. So I do wanna go in with a bit of this pink right here with my, wrong shade, with my pinky and put it like right, look at that, in that inner corner and blend it a little. Oh my gosh, I love that color. Look how much of a difference that made. Love it. I'm going to do it to the other side again. Um, probably going to apply some blacked wing liner and I'll be right back. All right. I'm going to go in with my mascara and I do like to um, curl my lashes before, but you know what? I can't find my lash curler because the makeup desk is a bit of a mess right now and I plan on cleaning it later today. I found it. Here it is. So, just going to curl them and then we're going to go in with a new mascara. This is the Big um, Papa Mascara. And this claims it'll get, get you um, bigger volume, bigger lift, bigger thickness, bigger impact. And it has 500 plus crimped bristles. So, interested to see how this works. Its nourishing formula is infused with castor oil, which is naturally possesses, which naturally possesses omega-6 fatty acids, essential proteins, and nutrition. Hourglass brush boosted, boosts with 500 plus crimped bristles that grips every part to reach a lash with maximum adhesive for epic volume, length, and definition. Sounds like my kind of mascara. The packaging is really cute too. I like how kind of hard to see. The top is like a crown. So let's open this. Ooh. Okay. Looks like it holds a lot of product. So let me zoom you in. And we will apply this. Okay, the formula. I need to restick it back in. Seemed a bit dry. And I hate when mascaras do that at the bottom but I just know sometimes the top of the tube holds a lot of mascara yeah now I'm getting like oh gosh now I'm getting a lot out so this is one you I'm just gonna have to play with and try to get some product off because you don't want all that on your all over your lashes okay that length so far Good. I do you like to hold down here? I know you're not supposed to do that. My lashes are sticking together a little bit, but nothing that I haven't seen in the mascara before. This is a very lengthening mascara, and it is very black as well. So I like it. I just kind of wish that not so much product came. If they if they had it to where not so much product came out on the bristles, then I can see this being like one of my, well, I wouldn't say favorites because I'm, I like it, but already, I know, I don't think the brush is my favorite. But the formula is good. And again, a mascara really does depend a lot on the brush as well, so... I like it. Very, I mean, you guys can see my eyelashes look 
pretty long and voluminous. I like it. Not something that I would rave too much about, but I like it. So I'm going to go apply foundation. Today I'm just going to go in with the uh, L'Oreal Infallible Foundation, and then we will... Um, actually, you know what? I'm not going to wear this one because it is a little too light for me. I'm going to go in one with that's a, that's a bit darker, and then I do have a new concealer to use from Wet n' Wild. Yeah. Okay, so... Matt just looked at me. I had him wet my beauty blender, and he's like, your eyes look good, babe. I'm like, thanks. So, and especially, it's nice getting out a compliment when you spend like two seconds doing your eyeshadow. So I am going in with this shade, the lightest shade in this palette, and I just put it underneath my brows. So for my face, I used the Haley's Beauty Foundation, the Reset Liquid Matte Foundation. It's amazing. I love it. Love it. If you all know me at all and you've been watching me for a while, I usually don't gear towards matte foundations. Um, I like more of kind of like a dewy-ish. And this matte foundation does not make me look cakey or anything. It is by far one of the best foundations I've ever tried. So now going in with the Incognito Wet n Wild All Day Full Coverage Concealer. I got mine in the shade Fair. I'm going to apply this underneath my eyes. Ooh. Smells really good. I'm gonna do the basic kind of triangle underneath the eyes kind of thing. This feels really cooling for some reason. And this is definitely full coverage. That smells I can't tell you guys what that smells like, but it smells really good. It kind of smells more like all natural, so it doesn't smell like too perfumey. I can't use the Wet n Wild. I'm going to use a brush for down here, and then underneath the eyes I'll use a Wet Beauty Blender. We'll see which one I like, I prefer. But I can't use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation because that just smells way too much like paint. Yeah, this just smells all natural. Kind of like all natural, earthy ingredients, kind of, I don't know how to explain it. Okay, that blended out really, really well. I'll go in with this too. This is the Rare Beauty Foundation brush, by the way, and it is my favorite. Y'all will see me using this on a lot of videos. So I'm gonna go in underneath the eyes with a more like a wet beauty blender. And dab this in. Look how flawless that's looking. Plus, it's brightening up my under eyes really well, too. I do feel like I did get a pretty good shade. I have tanner, like self-tanner and stuff on, so my neck does look a little bit tanned. But I do bronze my face, so no need to go in with a darker foundation. That covered really, really well. I'm going to do the nose. Look how easy that blended out. Okay, so I'm going to blend out the other side. So far this is looking gorgeous. It's not looking cakey or anything like that. This might be one of my new favorite concealers. Yes. Okay, I'm going to go in with my Haley's Beauty Retouched uh, Loose Setting Powder and just set my face with that and I'll be right back. Alright, so I already lined my lips with the Essence Stay um, Lip Liner in the shade Keep Receipts. I know it's not the color of this, but whatever. So this is the shade I'm on Cloud Wine. It's like a whiny, like a reddish color. They didn't have, I don't know, to me, their selection of the lip products just it didn't, I would have liked to seen more colors, like, I just picked up this color yesterday, because I've been wanting a more, yeah, like a wine, I guess these, no, these don't, this is more of a red, this right here, if they had more of a pinky, it's not really showing up too well on camera, but more of like a pink, purple, whiny color, like red color, 
Uh, and I don't know, they, their just shade range to me wasn't too impressive, but we're going to go in this with this one. So first off, let's smell it. it smells good. It smells kind of like vanilla cake. But here's what the applicator looks like. And now we're going to... Okay. I'm actually shocked. In the tube, it looks more of a red. But once I put it on my lips, it's the exact color that I was telling you guys that I've been looking for. So, uh, that's a pleasant surprise. Ooh, I like it. I thought it was going to be more of a burnt orange ready kind of color. I love the way this feels. So this is the Cloud Pout Marshmallow Lip Mousse. Okay, so I mean, look guys, look at the color in the tube. It's more of the burnt brick red, but then on my lips, it's this really pretty, like, pretty much this color that I it's like super close. So it's more of a wine. I'm like, how do you, I don't even know how to explain that. Like a, uh, what color is this one? Blissful berry. Yeah, more of like a berry color. I like it. And I like the formula. It's super soft. It's supposed to dry down matte. That's what it said. Um, didn't it say? It said it was supposed to dry down to a matte formula um, on the uh, display. So I'm going to wear this look throughout the day. Obviously, take this hair thing out and then do my hair. But I'm going to wear the lip, lippy. What time is it right now, babe? 2.10. So we're just going to say 2 o'clock. So we'll see how long it wears if it's one that wears long or if it's kind of just one you have to just reapply I'm okay with that it's just so strange to me how the color just looks different sometimes that does happen but I am not mad about it because I have been wanting a shade just like this so I might even be able to just return that so anyway I'll see you guys in a few hours all right, so here are what my lips are looking like. See, now you guys can actually see it's like the more of a, like instead of this dark red, it's more of a pinky red purple color. And then here are what the eyes look like. My eyelashes, the concealer is looking amazing. Love it. And then the brow product. I really like so everything so far everything is tad. okay so it is only um like a little after four o'clock so I've only had this on for about two hours and it is already wearing off it does claim that it's supposed to be matte but it's not it never dried down to be fully matte it's more of a more comfortable lip product which I'm actually very excited about because it is the color that I was well, I guess it's a little more lighter than I was looking for, but it's a pretty color. I do um, plan to wear it again because I like this color and um, just don't expect it to stay on your lips all day. I did just eat what I eat. I only had like a little chocolate and some water and it's already somewhat coming off. So it's not going to like sit on your lips like a liquid lipstick will. But the eyeshadow palette is gorgeous. I love the way my lashes look. The concealer is amazing. Y'all saw how amazing that coverage was. I am looking at my skin and I'm like, okay, my skin looks really good. I am excited to reuse that concealer because it's great. They just need to come out with that formula with a like a, for a foundation. Um, yeah, I pretty much enjoyed all products. So I really hope you guys, and the brow pencil, really digging it.
Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure you check out Laura, like I mentioned. I'm excited to see her wear test. Um, she tried out the um, new um, tinted moisturizer, and her skin looked amazing because she video messaged me earlier, and it looked great. So go check Laura out. I love you guys. Hope you had a very Merry Christmas. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Toodaloo.